Hello, Prawn here, and did you know when you're doing a scav run that if you meet other scavs, you're not meant to shoot them, and also that you won't be in danger from most scavs either. Most players know that scavs shouldn't shoot scavs, and so if you bump into a player scav, that's a player-controlled scav instead of a bot, they shouldn't shoot at you. Bots in the world also won't shoot at you, and they'll mostly ignore you, and there are various ways you can interact with both bots and player scavs. So you can communicate using the voice chat options with Y, and F1, but it can also use K. So you can press K to use your microphone to talk to player scavs that are in the world. One ran up to me here and talked to me, and I just said hello back and then offered the pistol that was inside that container, but they didn't want it, so they ran off, which is fair enough. But it's worth bearing in mind that you can communicate with other player scavs. Now, there are benefits to playing properly as a scav. You do get experience bonuses for doing so. So if you don't shoot other scavs, for example, and also if you do shoot and kill PMCs and you'll get points as a scav, it'll earn you extra experience and that'll reduce the amount of time that you have to wait for a scav run, meaning you can do them more often, which means that you can get more loot in a safer way without having to worry about losing it all when you get killed. So this is obviously a bonus. Now it's worth bearing in mind that the push to talk button, K, will alert anybody in the nearby area. So if PMCs happen to be nearby, they will hear you too. You can use this to your advantage, potentially. Some of them might be willing to team up to do the co-op extracts, for example, or just to share gear, but just be, bear that in mind. If you found this tip useful, check out the uh, playlist for more tips in the description below. Isn't there Is a the minefield the up? Yeah. Yeah, but I think we're good this side. Oh yeah, there's the cars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>